Well, as y'all seen, I just shot that little doe. Uh, two of them come in this morning from the field edge up here. I hadn't even had time for a, a morning interview. Yeah, because when they was coming into the woods, it just got legal light, which ain't nowhere near camera light. So uh, they come in, they walk down here to the 15 yards from behind the tree. I had them on the camera, but no way I could shoot in that direction. And the one I ended up shooting worked on off into the uh, thicket here behind me, while the second one I thought was going to swing around and follow it and maybe give me a shot, but it ended up busting my movement. It kind of it didn't ever blow but it made its way straight away from the tree and kind of hit it back the way it came from. And I think that's why this little doe turned around and come back. She gave me a shot I thought was a little over 40, but it ended up being about 36 yards, best I can tell. So I, maybe that's why I hit high, but no excuse. I should have tried to range it. I hate to hit one high like that and see him go down, but I just got down, put another arrow in her, and finished her off really quick. So, uh, I'm going to get down and see about getting this little gal drug out and cleaned up. And we're out of fresh deer meat. So as you, if you watched my buck video earlier, you'll know that I lost all the meat on that one. It took me a day to find it. Well, there won't be no tracking job with this. And she's laying it 36 yards from the tree. So I've got a long drag ahead of me. Uh, the farmer has planted wheat. And uh, the drainage I used to use through here, he put drain tiles in. So uh, now I can't drive four wheeler back here. So I got a long drive drag to get this dough out. So I'm gonna get off this camera. I'm gonna get down, get my gear down, and head out. I reckon. Well, as you can see, I got her out of the woods, a half mile drag. But I got her back to the house. Got her in the skinning shed. So we're fixing to clean her up, make some jerky out of her. Like I said, likely our last deer of the year. Uh, don't know if we'll be able to get out much more. So. Uh, Stay tuned this spring, we'll be doing some public land scouting hopefully, and also some turkey hunting, so thanks for watching.